Hi, Chef Matt here. Today I want to teach you a super simple recipe for a bourbon barbecue braised pork shoulder. First we're going to start with a simple spice mixture. So we're going to mix together granulated garlic, onion powder, kosher salt. For those of you that have watched my videos, you know I'm all about kosher salt. Just a pinch of cayenne pepper, cracked black pepper, got some fresh toasted cumin that's ground, and then last but not least, some smoked paprika. Okay. So here we have our pork shoulder. I put a little paper towel underneath just to get some of that moisture off. And so first I'll take that off, put that to the side. So this spice mixture with nice dry fingers, we're gonna mix that up and then heavily coat and very evenly this pork, okay? It's okay if some comes off because we're gonna put it all in our little uh, Le Creuset here. But you just wanna evenly spread it out Okay, make sure you get all the sides. You can even dab it if some of it comes off. The, um, the fat side here, we wanna make sure, don't trim any of it off, just let all that kind of render off in the cooking pot here. You really wanna make sure you're nice and even to get all those sides. If there's any little openings here, you can put a little bit inside there. Okay, get in all those nooks and crannies. Okay. All right, there we go. Damn it. So that fat side is going to continue to render down. So what we want to do is put that on the top. We'll just let all that fat kind of render down. So I'm going to put it in my pot here. And then any of that spice mixture that you have left, just kind of lay it right over the top. Make sure you use all that, and then just kind of spread it out. Okay. Next, we're gonna mix our sauce together. So we have a couple cups of whatever favorite barbecue sauce you have here. Brown sugar, bourbon, and apple cider vinegar. So we wanna mix this together. Just whisk this until all of the ingredients come together and that brown sugar has dissolved in these liquids. Okay, now that it's mixed, pretty well dissolved, we're gonna put a majority of this liquid mixture around. We're gonna put a little bit on top, but we don't wanna wash away all those spices. So we'll put a little bit in the front, a little bit in the back, and then just kinda of drizzle a little bit in the rest on top, give it a scrape, get all that goodness out. Okay. And then, so there you have that. We're gonna put our lid on and put this in the oven. Now, the beauty of this recipe is you can cook this two different ways. If you're a crock pot cooker, maybe 10 to 12 hours on low, or I like to use the oven. So we're gonna go about 275 degrees for about seven to eight hours. What you're looking for when this comes out is that meat just starting to split open and very, very fork tender, almost like you could just pull it apart. So it's best to let this rest for about a half hour. Just let the temperature come down a little bit. It won't be so intense. Wow, look at that. Just this beautiful kind of mahogany, look to it. It's gonna have a good amount of fat on top, which you could just skim off. Um, but as you can see here, we've got, you know, this, the pork just kind of cracked in the middle. Oh, just really, really nice and soft. You can see some of this fat on top is kind of gelatinous. And again, you can eat it if you love it, or you can just kind of pull it off and put it to the side. But I just want to plate a little bit. I'm just gonna take a few chunks off and you can see how easily that just comes off and how beautiful um, I mean, look at that. A little bit of fat's okay. Fat is flavor. Um, you know, you can serve it just like this, you know, with, with some rice. Um, you can put it between a couple of pieces of bread and have a beautiful sandwich. Um, 
I like to kind of eat it all those ways. And then you can just take some of this sauce. And if the sauce reduces, uh, see it just, it's nice and thick. Uh, you got a little sweet, a little savory. It's just gorgeous. Um, if it over reduces, you can add a little bit of water into that and thin it out a little bit, however you'd like, but uh, just beautiful. So our barbecue bourbon braised pork shoulder uh, goes fantastic with our wine of the month with uh, Zach Brown, our uncaged spirit. Cheers, enjoy.